We're here with Sister Emmy, um, who's just completed a program of syntonic phototherapy. She has congenital nystagmus, which means her eyes um, have a movement side to side, and this is from birth, um, and that's why um, her vision uh, was at best, uh, when she came in originally, about a 2040. Um, can you describe to us uh, what you were told by other eye doctors? Well, every eye doctor I have ever seen has told me that uh, the stagmus is a permanent condition that's basically untreatable and that the only solution is to wear glasses, which never fully corrected my vision. Uh, so this was quite a, a discovery that, in fact, there is a treatment possible. What did you notice? Tell, tell us about the process. How did you, what changes have you noticed? So I admit I came into this process just a little curious and just a little bit skeptical maybe. Um, what I, some changes that I noticed were both with and without my glasses a clearer vision and I especially noticed that when I wasn't wearing glasses, that things were much clearer than they had been in the past. Also, some colors, to my surprise, um, were appearing more vivid, richer than they had been before. Um, and I surprised myself not needing to stand so close to things when trying to read or when trying to play music. I would just naturally stand at a further distance. Right, you mentioned that you play the flute. Mm -hmm. And are you saying that that now you don't have to get as close to the notes? That's correct, yes. I used to always need very tall stands, and now that doesn't seem to be such a crucial need anymore. Do you remember what you told me last week in terms of a piece of iron that was coming out of the sidewalk? So I just... One thing that I had always struggled with was a slow reaction time, so bumping into things or people was a pretty commonplace occurrence. And so a few weeks into the syntonic phototherapy, I was just surprised that my body spontaneously avoided a piece of metal sticking out of the sidewalk where I was quite sure that I would have tripped over it in the past. And how would that make you feel and how do you feel now? Well, I'm definitely so pleased and um, not sure what the right adjective is, but surprised at how such a simple treatment can produce such um, significant results, especially after a lifetime of being told that there's nothing that can be done for uh, my visual condition. So definitely very happy, very grateful. How did you work this into your uh, in, into your life in terms of doing syntonic phototherapy? So I would say it ends up being about a half hour commitment daily and so I would do it every day before going to bed. That was just my routine of sitting down at my desk and doing the phototherapy. So before you were seeing about a 2040, what that means is even with your glasses you had to get to 20 feet when somebody could be about 40 feet. So they, so you had to be at half the distance in order to be able to see clearly. And what did we measure you again today at? I could see at 20-20. With each eye. And that's pretty remarkable and you've been able to be consistent over the last three visits. So, um, you know, we're, we're ecstatic on your success. I think now you're able to use your periphery, your side vision, a whole lot better, and that's why you know where you are in space. Um, that's why you can see things or notice things that you weren't able to notice before. Uh, what we found is before you were very central, which means very focal or very fixated on certain things. And now you can, you can notice things to the sides, and that's why you can stand further away. You don't have to get as close, and you don't have to, you know, like, um, kind of like invade somebody's personal space. Um, so it probably makes, you know, I don't, I don't mean to put words into your mouth, but I would imagine that it, that it makes you more confident.
Yes, and even others have commented, uh, other sisters that I live with have commented on a greater confidence of movement. Um, so uh, it appears to be the case. Great. Thank you so much for sharing. Anything else you'd like to add? I just want to say thank you so much, Dr. Roth, for, for what you do here and for truly being able to help patients in a meaningful way. Thank you so much. Thank you.